Hello, my name is Summer and I'm with Summerly Design Co. I design sock knitting patterns, so as you can imagine, I use a lot of sock yarn. <laughs> I've gotten a lot of requests from viewers of my podcast um, to talk about the sock yarn brands that I use the most. So in today's video, I'm going to talk to you about five different yarn brands that I use almost all the time. Little disclaimer, um, all of this yarn I've purchased myself. Um, in some cases, I've been buying these brands for years. Um, so none of these yarns were gifted. I'm also going to be posting links in the description of the video where you can buy this sock yarn. And these links are not affiliate links. I will not be receiving a commission if you click on those to go through and check the yarn out or purchase it yourself. This really is truly a video about the yarns that I've been using for years and that I love the most and that I turn to time and time again. So let's go ahead and get started and we'll start with the first brand I'm gonna talk about. All right, up first we have Lang Jawol, and this is a European brand. This is a fingering weight yarn. It is 75% wool, 25% nylon. Um, you're gonna get about 230 yards or 211 meters per skein. They're kind of like half skeins. Um, each, each skein weighs about 50 grams or 1.7 ounces. And the current price for me here in the US is 1050 a skein. So that's how much I'm paying. If you live in Europe or elsewhere, you might pay more or less. It just depends on shipping. So all the prices today, I'm going to give you what I'm paying here in the United States. And for this, it's 1050 a skein. One of the things I love about this particular yarn is the sheer volume of colors that it comes in and the shades of each color. When I'm knitting socks, that's really what I'm looking for. I'm not just looking for red. I'm looking for the perfect shade of red or the perfect shade of pink. And so Jawal gives you a ton of options. It's great for pretty much any sock you want to knit, whether that's color work, lace, cables, texture, or just a solid basic sock. Um, again, the color selection can't be beat. And one thing that's interesting, and I'm going to try to dig this out. <laughs> I don't know if I can. Um, Lang includes this little like spool of, oh, <laughs> I, can't, I can't push it out. Um, it includes a little spool. Here we go. Here we go. Um, this looks very graphic. <laughs> Got it. All right, Lang includes this little spool and it's like, here, I'm gonna hide my face so that it focuses on the spool of thread. Um, it's basically a spool of reinforcement thread um, that you can use in like the hard wearing areas, like the heel, the toes. I personally have never used it. <laughs> like, I don't know. I mean, I have so many pairs of socks that they don't wear out because I'm not wearing the same pairs over and over again. But if you are concerned about wear and tear, you can use this thread. You can just knit it along with the strand of yarn to reinforce heels, reinforce toes, and other hard wearing areas. So that's kind of cool that it comes with this if you want to use it. Um, so with this particular yarn, one of my most popular patterns that I've knit with it are the pinwheel socks. Um, this particular pattern appeared in the um, Lane magazine or Lane book, Lane Publishing Company book, 52 Weeks of Socks, Volume 2. Um, and then I released it in my Ravelry store um, later last year. So um, this is all Lang Jewel, all these different colors. What's really cool are they have neutrals, they have neons, they have brights. I'm going to flip the camera around and kind of show you some of what I have in my stash um, so you can kind of see the range of colors that it comes in. All right, so these are just some of the Lang Joel yarns that I have. I mean, as you can see, I use these a lot. I kind of pick a little bit here, a little bit there, but I really love their neutrals. They have a lot. This one's called, I know this one's called coconut or toasted coconut. Um, really, really great neutral that I've used a lot. Their grays are good. They've got a lot of different shades of gray from dark to light. They've got bright neon colors, lots of different shades of pink. These are just two of them and they're blues. Oh my gosh, I've got four alone right here. 
and they have way more than that. So really, really love Ling Jewel. Again, comes in fantastic colors. It's great for color work. Um, I use it. That's primarily what I use it for is color work. As you can see in my pinwheel socks that appeared um, in Lane Publishing's 52 Weeks of Socks, Volume 2. Um, it just has a really nice definition. Uh, it's just really crisp. Great, great for color work. So love this yarn. And it's pretty much available worldwide, I believe. You can, you can get it in a lot of places. All right, my next brand I'm going to talk about is Knit Pick Stroll. Um, I absolutely love this yarn. It's probably one of my, if not the all-around favorite for me, um, because it hits so many points. Um, like Ling Jewel, it comes in a ton of great colors, not quite as many, but a lot. Um, again, you don't just have red, you have multiple shades of red to choose from, multiple shades of pinks, multiple shades of yellow. So you're really getting a great catalog of colors for your projects. I have used this in so many patterns. I use it time and time again. I have my favorite colors, which I'll show you in a moment. My most favorite pink yarn and my most favorite red yarn are both from Knit Pick Stroll. Um, really, really fantastic stuff. And you cannot beat the price. I currently pay $6.29 US for a skein. Like Ling Jewel, it's 231 meters, or I'm sorry, 231 yards, 211 meters, 50 gram skein, 1.7 ounces. Um, so again, when you're using this, if you're knitting a pair of shorty socks, one ball is probably going to do it for you. If you're wanting to knit, you know, calf length socks, you would definitely need two. And that's the same with Ling Jewel. Um, so, you know, one skein is not quite going to give you a regular size pair of socks, but I hardly ever <laughs> knit a sock that's just one color. I mean, I have balls of this stuff in like every color and I'm just constantly picking at it, like using a little bit from here, a little bit from there. You'll see in a second, I'm going to turn the camera around and show you kind of my stash of knit pick stroll, but I have knit, like I said, so many patterns. Um, these are my cider house socks and these I knit with the Knit Pick Stroll. And what's really great is it comes in tweed as well. This is the tweed and I'll show you those in a second. So, you know, I love that it comes in tweed. I love working with tweed yarn. So I've knit those, um, my Summerland sock set, which is quite a few patterns. I think it's like four or five, <laughs> I don't remember. Um, but this is all, all Knit Pick Stroll. Um, again, it's just fantastic. Incidentally, this is my favorite pink and my favorite red, and I'll talk about that in a second. So yeah, great colors, great neutrals, lots of different whites and browns and grays to choose from, and of course, black. Um, I love these socks, just colorful, cute little cuffs and toes. So yeah, a lot of patterns. I have knit so many patterns. Um, my most popular my most popular pattern, the hibernal socks, I knit with Knit Picks Stroll Tweed. So you would need two balls, two skeins um, to knit these socks. And I can't do math in my head. <laughs> $6.29 plus $6.29. I don't know. It's like 13 bucks or something rounding up for a pair of socks. And it's super soft. Very, very soft sock yarn. I've used it for years. I love it. It's probably my favorite sock yarn brand. You just can't beat it for color selection affordability. Um, one thing about Knit Pick Stroll, I'm not sure that it's available worldwide. Um, according to their website, they do ship to the United States, the United Kingdom, Australia, and Canada. So if you live outside of those countries, it's probably going to be harder for you to get, and you're probably better off with Lang, the jaw wool. Um, I think you can probably find that in a you know bigger variety of countries. So that's the only downside is that Knit Picks does not ship everywhere. But other than that, it's a fantastic sock yarn. So I'm going to flip the camera around and show you some of my favorite colors from my stash. All right, this is just some of my, <laughs> of my Knit Pick Stroll stash. I have a lot of this. And again, I mean, you can see I just use it and use it and use it. And I kind of re-up my favorite colors when I start to run low, um, you know, but I'll use a little bit for a toe, a little bit for a cuff, you know, as you can Great for color work socks, you know. Um, this is from the Summerland sock set. Link to this will be in the description below the video. Um, love it for color work. Love it for cables. It's very soft, this yarn. I really wish you could just like 
reach through the screen and feel this. This is the softest yarn that I work with. In terms of soft yarn, I would say that Knit Pick Stroll is absolutely the softest. It kind of has just a slight, a slight halo, a slight fuzz, especially the heathered yarns in the Stroll collection. Um, like I said, it comes in tweeds, which is wonderful. I love working with tweed yarn. That's what I used in the Cider House socks. Um, this particular pattern is one of my favorites. It's got beautiful cables, lots of fun colors that you can do. Um, I use the Knit Pick Stroll Tweed with my Hibernal socks. This is one of my most popular patterns. Um, I think I used that tweed right there, maybe. I don't know, it's kind of hard to tell. But again, I use it just for everything. Colorful little cuffs, colorful little toes. You can just throw it on anything. Um, this is my slouch sock set pattern and I used all knit pick stroll for that. Um, great for solid socks with little pops of color. Again, it's just fantastic yarn. So that's knit pick stroll. My two favorite colors ever. This is Bowie. This is the most perfect red that ever existed <laughs> in my opinion. I love this color. It's like a warm orangey red. And then this particular pink is called Dogwood Heather, and it's my very favorite pink of all time. As you can see, I'm almost out and I need to buy more because I absolutely love this pink. It's a very warm, pretty pink. Pucker is another favorite pink. It's kind of their like neon hot pink, but it's not like too bright. I mean, look at all three of those together. It's just, oh, so good. So fantastic yarn. Love Knit Pick Stroll. All right, now we are moving into full skeins with the third sock yarn brand on my list. And this is a newer one to me. This is one I recently discovered when I was shopping at the McKinney Knittery in McKinney, Texas, one of my favorite yarn stores ever. Um, and I happened to spy this. They had a ton, <laughs> a ton of this in so many colors. And that is Cascade Yarns Heritage Sock. Um, this is a full skein. It is 437 yards or 400 meters, it is 100 grams or 3.5 ounces. So you're getting a lot of yarn for a really great price. And I have a feeling this is going to quickly become one of my favorite yarns just because you get so much. I pay US $11.50, so really good price. The Lang Jewel by contrast is $10.50 for half that amount. Now, of course, I'm in the US, so Importing that from Europe may add to the cost for me. It might be cheaper where you live. But for me, the Cascade Heritage sock is a much better buy. I get a lot more for my money um, by buying this. And it comes in so many colors. It's like, you know, I'm used to shopping for yarn online. I do that most of the time. Um, my local yarn store closed. And then the one that I love in McKinney is four hours away. So when I'm needing a specific color really quickly, I'm hopping online. Um, so getting to see this in person in McKinney and like the whole range of colors. Oh, it was so hard. I just went bananas. <laughs> it's a really, really great yarn. Um, it's 75% superwash merino, 25% nylon. And again, $11.50 if you live in the U.S. Um, once again, I am going to be posting links where you can find these yarns, at least where I find them and where I buy them in the description of the video. Um, so if you want to check it out for yourself, but I've knit, um, my, one of my more recent patterns I knit out of this, and this is the Darobi sock set. Um, I knit these out of, you know, the Cascade Heritage sock. It was my first time working with this yarn and I was hooked. It's a really, really good yarn. Um, I will be linking all the patterns I'm showing you in the description of the video, by the way, if there are any of these that catch your eye that you want to check out. This is the second pattern that's included in the Darobi sock set. This particular sock set was inspired by the PBS show, All Creatures Great and Small. If you have not watched that yet, do yourself a favor. <laughs> it's an amazing show and it's full of fantastic knitwear. And so I was inspired by the knitwear in the show whenever I knit um, these socks and created this pattern set. So again, great, fantastic yarn. I'm going to flip the camera and show you in detail what these colors look like. All right, this is my Cascade Heritage Sock Collection, or at least some of them. I'm missing a few, but again, this is a recent yarn that I tried out, um, and I absolutely loved it. I designed my Darby sock set using this particular brand of yarn. It was fantastic to work with. Loved the price point. Um, I think I said it was like $11.50 for a full 100-gram skein, so 
that's wonderful. It comes in so many amazing colors. These are just some of the ones um, that I have here. Really loved working with this. It's really soft. I really love this particular base. It's got a good twist to it. Um, really, really enjoyed working with this particular yarn. It's fantastic for color work. I can't wait to use it um, in cables, in lace, in texture. I have a feeling it's going to have a fantastic stitch definition. So I'm really excited to try it out um, in some other, other kinds of socks. But gosh, it just knit up so beautifully. The colors are just outstanding. So love Cascade Heritage Sock. All right, for the fourth brand I'm gonna show you, this is another relatively new to me brand. I've knit with it one time and oh, absolutely fell in love. This is an indie dyer and this is Coats & Co Fiber. Um, the colors are just straight out of my brain. I swear she is a genius with color. Um, and again, huge range of colors. I do use a lot of tonals whenever I knit socks. I like for the patterns that I create to really shine through, whether it's color work, whether it's texture. If you hear screaming, <laughs> My kids are off school today because of an ice storm and my son is currently playing video games with his friends and um, it's, it's a little noisy. <laughs> so if you hear screaming, that's what that is. Um, anyways, Coats & Co Fiber, an indie, dye, an indie dyer, um, fantastic. Her colors are absolutely stunning. Again, lots of shades of colors so you can find just the right one and I went totally bananas. <laughs> Once I had tried out some mini skeins of hers and realized that I loved her sock base, loved her sense of color, I went bananas and ordered a ton of full skeins because I know I will be using, using these for years to come. Literally, I will be using, you know, picking little bits and pieces, using a little bit here and there from each skein as I design color work or, you know, stripes, other, other socks. So it's fantastic stuff. Um, this particular base is the Cottage Sock Base, and that is 25% nylon, 75% superwash merino. You're going to get 437 yards or 400 meters, and it is a full 100 grams or 3.5 ounces. So the current price I'm paying for Coats & Co Fibers Cottage Sock is $27 per skein. This is indie dyed, so you know there is a jump in price when you're talking about commercial yarns versus indie dyed yarns. And of course, there's a lot of information on that topic and what you're paying for. You're paying for the artistry. These are small businesses. They don't have the purchasing power of larger corporations. So in order to pay themselves a living wage and actually be able to afford food and, <laughs> and health insurance, they've got to charge a little bit more for skein, but the quality is outstanding. I mean, these are hand painted, you know, truly beautiful yarns made by hand, um, made by artisans in our industry. I love supporting indie dyers when I can, and there are so many out there. I'm going to be talking about two in this video, Coats & Co., and then another one, um, but I encourage you to look on Instagram, look at the hashtags for sock yarn, for indie dyed yarn, and you will come across an amazing amount of dyers. The two that I'm talking about today are just a small sample of what's available in our industry so many wonderful yarns available so i really encourage you to kind of do a search and find your favorites i've got mine but they're certainly no means <laughs> an exhaustive list there's a lot of indie dyers i use there's just a couple that i kind of have used for years that i tend to go back time and time again um, when we're talking about the five yarns i use the most and even though this is newer to me i already know i'm going to be using this a ton for a big super secret special project that i've got coming up um, so yeah, I'm going to flip the camera around and show you some of the colors that I just bought so that you can see what this dyer is capable of. All right. This is my most recent order from Coats & Co Fiber Company. I have knit a sock out of mini skeins from them. I can't show it because it's a future pattern, but I can tell you, I absolutely loved the cottage sock base and that spurred me to order, make this big gigantic order so that I can use all of these colors in a variety of different patterns um, moving forward in the future. I'm gonna be using these for color work, for lace, for texture, for cables. This is an absolutely fantastic base. And in my opinion, her colors are probably my favorite on the market. Um, I have not seen colors that I responded to this strongly in terms of the shades that she gets. They're just absolutely perfect. <laughs> like when I saw them on the website, I drooled. And you know, sometimes you can't tell when you're ordering something online 
if it's going to look as good when you get it in person. And these looked even better. So again, this is Coats & Co. Fiber Company. Love this indie dyer. Absolutely fantastic stuff. All right. And my fifth brand I'm going to talk about. Um, this is a dyer that I have used almost since I started designing socks. I absolutely love her sense of color. I'm just drawn to it. You know, we all have our unique taste. And this particular dyer, I go back to time and time again. I've got a lot of her skeins in my stash. Um, it's just, she's just one of my favorites. Her yarn speaks to me. And when you're looking at indie dyed yarn, that's really what you're looking for. Yarn that excites you, that fills you with a lot of inspiration and creative possibilities. And for me, Hedgehog Fibers had that upside down. Absolutely love Hedgehog Fibers. The quality, the colors, um, she's constantly producing new colorways and her old colorways are fantastic. She has a great advent calendar every year for Christmas. I've done it once. I absolutely loved it. It was so much fun. Um, and I just love the particular base. The Hedgehog Fiber Sock Yarn Base is really great to work with. It has fantastic stitch definition. Um, she dyes yarn in such a wide range. She does tonals, so solids, like kind of what I've been talking about. She does lightly speckled, heavily speckled, variegated. I tend to gravitate towards the more lightly speckled, you know, moderate speckles. Again, when I'm knitting socks and designing sock patterns, if I'm going to all the trouble to knit cables or a really pretty lace or texture stitch, I don't want that to be hidden by really loud yarn. I love loud yarn and I love knitting basic socks out of heavily variegated or heavily speckled yarn. But when it comes to socks with any kind of particular pattern, I tend to stick more with lightly speckled. And Hedgehog Fibers has such a great range of lightly speckled yarns. This particular color fly, um, I've knit with it before. These are my Mermaid Avenue socks. Um, Again, great with just a little bit of speckling. I mean, there's kind of a lot. This is kind of a moderately speckled, I would say, but you can still really see um, that stitch pattern coming through, um, even with the speckles. So yeah, fantastic, fantastic sock yarn. Um, this is a full skein again. And with Hedgehog Fibers, you're getting 90% superwash merino, 10% nylon. 437 yards, 400 meters, and 3.5 ounces, and 100 grams. Um, the current price for me here in the U.S. is $32 a skein. Again, depending on where you're at, shipping, that can all change. But for me in the U.S., that's what I'm paying whenever I buy a skein of hedgehog fibers. And again, it lasts me so long. I mean, when I knit this pair of Mermaid Avenue socks, I still had quite a bit left over that you can use for heels, toes, cuffs, you name it. Um, I went ahead and bought another skein because I loved that particular colorway so much and I just wanted to have it <laughs> back in my stash and I know I'll use it again someday. Um, so again, fantastic colors. I've also knit my Thick Skiving socks all out of hedge. Hedgehog Fibers yarn. This is marling. This is when you hold two strands of fingering weight yarn together. You get a DK weight with that. And I have found that speckled yarns create the most beautiful fabric when marled, when you're combining two together. Um, so yeah, this is a combination of hedgehog fiber speckled yarn that I held together to create this beautiful, thick, marled DK weight sock, my Thanksgiving pattern. That will be in the link, uh, or there will be a link to that in the description below the video. All these patterns, again, um, you can find in the description below the video. I'm going to flip the camera around and I'm going to show you in more detail some of these beautiful speckled skeins in just a second. Um, most of what I've shown you today has been tonals. Again, that's primarily what I work with. I love knitting socks out of tonals. I love knitting stripes. I love knitting color work. I love creating great stitch patterns that can really shine through tonal yarn. Um, but I do love speckled yarn on occasion. I've knit with it. I've designed socks with it. Um, it's fantastic. So if that's kind of what floats your boat too, then there's, I mean, a great number of indie dyers that do it, not just hedgehog fibers. That just happens to be one of my favorites that I've used for years. So let's go ahead and take a closer look. All right. These are my hedgehog fiber skeins. I've got more. This is just what I was able to fish out of the yarn closet. Um, they vary. This is pretty heavily variegated and speckled. Um, two more lighter. This is lightly variegated lightly speckled. Um, it just depends. And of course they make tonals as well. Like I said, they make heavy variegation, 
light speckled. They just have such a wonderful range of kind of this artistic hand dyed, beautiful, beautiful speckled yarn. If you want to get into speckles for your sock knitting, I did that here with my mermaid Avenue socks. This particular color is fly, which you can see here in the skein. Absolutely love how this knitted up. You can still really see the texture in the sock pattern. It's not completely overshadowed by the speckles. Sometimes it can be, um, depending on how heavy the speckling is. And Hedgehog Fibers makes for great marling. If you're marling yarns by holding two strands of your fingering weight together, you get a DK weight, a nice thick sock. It knits up really quickly. And when you marl speckled yarns together, it just looks so beautiful. It's just, I mean, it's just an otherworldly effect. So love Hedgehog Fibers for that. I've been using them for years. I'm just really drawn to their colorways, their speckling. It's just really beautiful eye candy yarn. All right, well, that wraps up my five favorite sock yarn brands that I love working with. Um, again, this list is by no means exhaustive. There are so many fantastic sock yarns out there. If you look at the different listing descriptions in my Ravelry store or on my website, you will see a ton of great yarn brands that I work with. This is, this is only a small subset. These are just the ones I reach for time and time again. They're my workhorse yarns, I call them, because they're just, they perform well. I love the colors and it's just something that I can go back to time and time again. So if you enjoyed this video, if it was helpful to you, you can always subscribe to my channel or give the video a thumbs up. Again, the links to where you can find these yarns will be in the description of the video. These are not affiliate links, no commission for me, and none of these yarns were gifted. This is literally all yarn that I've bought and used myself um, in many cases for years. Some of it, you know, just in the last few months. So I'll have all that in the description of the video. I also do a weekly podcast that drops every Friday where I talk about my current whips. We do book reviews. I answer your questions about sock knitting, regular knitting, life advice, you name it. So if you want to check that out, it's also on my YouTube channel as well. And for those of you watching from around the world, the comment section is a great place to list some of your favorite dyers, um, especially if you're in countries where shipping can be kind of a challenge and you end up paying a lot for shipping. I know if you live in Australia, shipping is tough. <laughs> you guys pay a lot of money to ship some of this stuff, um, you know, from the US or from Europe or from Canada all the way down to Australia. So if you've got any favorite Australian indie dyers that are easier to get, list those in the comments. No matter where you are in the world, um, let us know what some of your favorite yarns are to work with in the comments so that we can all go on a little scavenger hunt and find some yarns that might be new to us. Um, so again, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.